Hola and welcome to Lindita's Kitchen. I am Lindita. And what's on the menu today? Pot pies. Oh my goodness. This recipe is going to knock your socks off. You know why? Because everything that I'm going to be putting together, you already have in your cupboard. So you can either add, I'm going to be doing a chicken pot pie or you can do a turkey as well. So we're going to start out with my mom's recipe and it starts out with the Jiffy Mix. I know, I know everybody, I grew up on it and I know a lot of you out there did too as well. And it's a famous, a, not famous, it's, well it is, it's, it's popular. Jiffy goes a long way, right? So I'm gonna get started with my Jiffy Mix. And I, like I said, I, um, I you can do the muffins or you can do anything, but at this point I'm gonna do it in a pie. Oh. in a baking dish is what I meant. Okay, so now we're gonna dump all our ingredients in. You're gonna use one third cup of your whole, I like the whole milk, so, but it's up to you. Do you wanna go light? Both sides. And then, un blanquillo, one egg. And I use the large eggs, I like the large eggs. So we're gonna mix this up really nice and well. And you don't wanna overdo it either. My mother used to say, no, 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 it's gotta have a little, couple little lumps in there. You know, it just makes it all good. And we're gonna set it aside for a couple, couple minutes and let it set. Just like that. So, you know, we've got our, our baking dish and you wanna spray it. You wanna make sure you spray this because sometimes it does stick, but hey, what? It's all good. Let's see. So we're gonna let that rest for a minute, okay? So meanwhile, I'm gonna put this all aside because these are gonna go into some pie shells. I know, perfect. And they come in too, and I did ask Marie, my friend Marie Callender, I know she's at the kitchen, at, at your local grocery store too. And um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and follow the directions on that. So you're gonna need to take a fork and thaw your pie shells out for about uh, 10 minutes, let them rest. And you know, because they're frozen when you get them. So you wanna go ahead and just, let me move this over, cause this is still resting, all right? So I'm gonna just show you, you wanna just poke the bottom. I just do the bottom. I see. Now is that easy or what? And it is. Okay, so meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and pour our Jiffy into our baking dish. I know we're doing, I'm giving you step-by-step -step directions. So we start out with our Jiffy. And if you want, you know, if you have your own favorite, that's up to you, but I usually use this recipe for my stuffing, and that's what makes it so unique and so delicious, okay? So I'm gonna just shake it up a little bit and let it rest. My oven is set at 400, it's preset for 400, so I'm gonna go ahead and just toss it right in, okay? We'll get it going. Now that's gonna go for about uh, 15 minutes, I will say. So meanwhile, we'll get our pie crust ready to go. My timer just went off, so we're ready to pull it out. Okay. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up for a minute and we're gonna let that chill. Like I said, we actually had it in there for like 16 minutes, take or give, but you know, follow the directions because you know, everybody's range is a little bit different and mine's a little hot, so just saying. And I, like I said, I already poked these. I pricked them in the bottom and you know, on the, on the actual directions, you know, you leave it in longer, but for this recipe, I just toss it in for like five minutes. Okay, so while that's chilling, we're gonna be cooking. All right, five minutes, set the timer, mystery. All righty. 
at 400. Whew. Whoa. So next, we're gonna get started on our cornbread stuffing. So I'll get all my ingredients together. Heard the timer go off. I guess they're ready. And I'm gonna show you what I'm saying about the reason I'm leaving them in for like just five minutes. And you want them to just brown up a little bit. And you'll see that the bottoms get kind of puffy like that. And you need to let it rest for like about 10 minutes or a little bit longer, okay? So I'm gonna let them just kind of, yeah, chill out, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna set them over here, let them do their thing. And then, whoops, I'm gonna just start on my stuffing. Now, let me tell you, this is a real special recipe that I'm sharing with you. It's my mommy's, my mamacita, la abuela, right? I see all my kids, they, they, they love this, this stuffing. So I'm gonna be sharing it with you. And you're gonna be tasting, I always say tasting the love, but you will, all right? So for this recipe, cause it's gonna make two pies, you know, the, the, the chicken pot pies. We're gonna just need, not a whole half, but I'm gonna just go. Cause it's not that big, you know, it's about like they say, I measured it out to like a third cup. So let's see how we do here. Oh, okay, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> you know, I love onions, right? Mm-hmm. All right, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to use my other chopper knife here. I'm gonna just chop these up a little bit more. You don't want to, you know, you can go real fine or just, I see. Hmm, onions, yeah. You know, they don't make my eyes water anymore. I guess I'm used to chopping a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss this in my bowl over here for right now. Get this out of the way. Uh, and then you'll need one salary, uno, just one. And then again, you know, you double, you can double up this recipe, you know, for your, you know, for like your Thanksgiving stuffing, if you wanna put stuff it in your, in your turkey. But like I said, I'm using chicken right now. And this is a, a wonderful recipe. It's, it's for all seasons, you know? It's a comfort food, we say. So a little celery. And when I make it for my Thanksgiving dinner, I'm telling you, for my stuffing, I, I triple this recipe. And you'll have it, you know, once you uh, see this and it'll be on my website as well. All my social media, here we go, let's just. And again, I do like these a little on the chunkier side, you know, not too fine, because you want to crunch into it. <laughs> How do you like that? I'm giving you all the motions. All right, you know what I'm talking about. And if you like a little bit more celery, go ahead. Add more or less. All righty. All this is gonna get tossed together. So this has been, it's still a little on the warm side, but let me see how it comes out. I did spray the bottom, right? And this is the test. But it doesn't matter because it's all gonna go in. It's all gonna, oh, perfect. I'm gonna crumple it up in there. Oh, it's a little bit more. And then the other half, like I said, if you wanna double it up, you know, you can use the whole thing, but this is just for the two pies. All righty, here. Just use my fingers for that. And then I'll move this over. <laughs> like I said, I'm going step by step. So you know. Now, we're gonna break this all up Ooh, está poquito caliente, I love it. And if you have these little manitas, 
You can always use them too, you know, to kind of mix, help you mix it all up, crunch it up a little bit. Not crunch it up, but you know, mix it up. Like I said, my mommy used to make this in a big, big bowl. Híjole, we always had big turkeys too. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some salt and pepper. As you know, I'm a pepper girl. And a little salt to sprinkle. And I'm using the kosher salt as well. You don't need that much. Okay, and we're gonna add uh, like a third cup of milk. And that's just gonna give it that, you know, uh, the moisture that the pie will need because we're gonna add some other ingredients too. Yeah. Mmm, it smells like home. Reminds me of my mamacita's casa, my abuelita. Okay, so now that we have this set, I'm gonna go ahead and get my rotisserie chicken and we're gonna chop that up and then we're gonna put it all together, okay? Okay, so I have my rotisserie chicken here. And you know, we're gonna be using most of it, you know, so I, you know, like I said, I, you, what you wanna do is just peel, peel it off, you know, the, the skins. I'm gonna get, make sure you get all the skins off. Okay, like just like this, right? <laughs> I'll leave a little in there for like a little look texture. And then we're gonna use both, both of them and then the breast. And you know, like Ian, my producer, he loves, he loves the mixture. I like it dark, I like the dark meat. So, you know, you can choose whatever, whatever part of the chicken that you want. And then, um, you know, use that, you know, it's, it's all good and it tastes good. And this makes it really easy when you're using the rotisserie, you know, because, you know, you can go ahead and, you know, boil up your chicken and do all that. But I'm showing you recipes that are, you know, easy and simple and it doesn't take the whole day to do it, you know. So like I said, take some of the peel off and then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and chop it up. And like I said, it's gonna take about a cup and a half per pie, okay? So I'll get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just chopped it up. And I've used most of the, the rotisserie chicken. And again, you know, it's about a cup and a half per pie. So it depends on your chicken and when you get it, you know, the weight, you know, you can justify. And I'm telling you, this is what's left. These little wings, those are for Ian. <laughs> I'm saving them for you, baby. All right, so. Now, what I'm gonna do is to kind of give me an idea too, so, and you an idea. So I'm gonna just split it in half, like that. It's about a cup and a half. You can measure it as well. And then, all you'll need is for the rest of the toppings, you're gonna need that gravy. And that gravy is so delicious, and it's so easy to make, so let's head over there. Let's do it. Okay, so what we wanna do to make our gravy, is we're gonna go ahead and start with four tablespoons of butter of your choice, okay? And while that is melting away, I'm gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of my chicken. It's chicken and tomato bouillon, and it's amazing. I use it for a lot of my recipes. Okay, so you wanna add that. Let's just get that going. Mm. And you can use the regular, the two little, you would use two cubes, but in this case, I'm using, you know, the the teaspoon, so it takes two. And hot water, make sure it's nice and hot. So while that's going, yeah. Now, let's check out our butter over here, see how it's doing. Okay, we wanna melt it down. Mm. And you don't wanna burn it, that's for sure, so you have to keep an eye on it. Okay. I see. Yeah, there we go. It's happening. There's a little piece right there. Yes, now with this, you're gonna add four tablespoons of flour. It's the all-purpose flour. You're gonna add the flour, and then about a half a teaspoon of the, the onion salt onion powder, excuse me. 
And then, you know, a little dash of pepper, oh, about a quarter of a teaspoon. So we're gonna just mix it all up. Get it nice and mixed. Turns into a flour roux. Mmm. I think I got all the corners, yeah. Now, this is the time where you start adding your liquid, and that's why it needs to be hot. So we'll slowly add it. Yeah, I need one more hand. <laughs> it's perfect. So just keep adding all of it. And this is about two and a half, like I said, two and a half uh, cups of water. Keep stirring it. Yum. All of it. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to stir this for another, you know, about a minute, two minutes, and it'll get nice and thick. And just another little trick I want to add in there, just, just for a thought. If the gravy that you're serving, if you'd like to add a little bit more color, you can add some soy sauce to it. Just, just soy, you know, you can just add about a teaspoon. I'm just eyeballing it there. And see, it starts getting dark. And if you want it darker, just add a little bit more. And it won't change the flavor so much. Okay, so you can see it's thickening up. Perfect. Now, I gotta do a little taste test just to make sure. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna just shut it off. It was on a small, like medium heat, low heat, I'm sorry, for this. So we'll let it cool off a little bit and let's get our pot pies going. Ooh la la, the gravy is done. I feel like I wanna drink it. <laughs> it's so good, it is. You're gonna see what I'm saying. Now we've got our pie crusts. They're all done, they've cooled down and I put them on this little pretty um, dish, my pie dish, and we're gonna add one cup of the, the stuffing that we put together, you saw. So I wanna crumple it up in here, just like this. Uh-huh. Then we're gonna add our chicken, like I said, a cup and a half, or turkey, it's your preference. Gonna, oh, this is gonna be nice and full. I'm gonna use my little hands over here, my extra hands, to kind of help stir it up. Move it around. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm a hand girl, okay? Just go ahead, just go for it. Oh, yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of salsa, of course, linditas, so a couple tablespoons. So just one or two or three, and it, this is the mild because um, I'm gonna do a mild and I'm gonna do a hot one. You're gonna see what I'm talking about in a little bit. All right, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Ooh, I wish you were here. You're gonna be singing la, I know, I always say sing la bamba when you do this recipe. Ba ba la la bamba. If my sister Chavelita was here, we'd be doing that, okay? And here, let me wipe my hands off a little bit. Now we're gonna add the gravy. Ooh, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be hot or cold, you know, it can be either. If it does cool down a little bit, guess what? You need to add a little bit of water and stir it up, okay? And I used about a cup a little over a cup because I wanted to kind of give it that flavor, the juice in there. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The aromas are incredible. Kind of reminds me of, you know, Thanksgiving as well. But like I said, for leftovers, this is a perfect recipe for that, okay? 
And then I'm just gonna top this one off with uh, some shredded cheese, and that's about a cup. We're gonna use about a cup. And again, it's totally your call. If you wanna go ahead and add a little bit more, it's up to you. And it's, yeah. So I'm gonna let that rest for a little bit because I'm gonna change up the toppings on my next recipe as well, okay, for this. So I'm gonna start on my next pot pie. Okay, so now, as you can see, they're both done. Look how beautiful they look, right? So this is gonna be my mild, okay, for people that like it really mild, and that's how I'm separating these. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and do a chip. Oh, gotta do a little bag of chip. And how I measure this out is I just take my favorite chip, okay, you do the same, and take a handful. Just put it in a bag. Okay, I think it needs a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna crunch it up. Get that crunch going. Mmm. So you get the, you know, the, the flavor of the, the tortilla chip as well. I know. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this one. I see. How's that crunch? You gotta have fun when you're doing this. That's all I gotta say. So we're gonna spread it around. Whoa. Put it in a pile in the middle there, and then just gently go over. And you can add a little bit more chips if you want. You know, it's your call. But I use about a hand, that's how I measure it. You know, a handful, okay? And when you bite into it, mm, you get that little crunch. I know, I know exactly what I'm saying. Here, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use the blue chip. So the blue chip, and like I said, I'm using it, and it also has a little bit of, you know, different flavor as well, you know, so again, I know, I broke into them last night, so that's why they're open. Okay, sorry, that was, I'm gonna add a little bit more, because these are bigger chips in my hand. It's about that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and crunch it up. Yeah, and use your favorite chip. You know, if you like the multi-grain as well, you know, or the red, or different colors, too. But I'm using these two just to kind of show when I'm presenting, you know, people know that that's the mild and this is the hot. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead again. Just spread it around. I'm gonna just toss it in the middle there. Ooh la la. This is a different pot pie, no? I'm telling you. I know, you can add a little bit of more cheese on top too. Just a little bit more, if you like. And then, you know, some jalapenos. And I did use one whole jalapeno. And it wasn't that big. So I did dice it up, and just you can add that on the top for color and flavor. Now see? That's all there's to it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, again, at 400 for about, um, what did I say, about 12 to, you know, 12 minutes. And you'll see, it's already, everything's already cooked inside. So you just need to kind of get it nice and golden brown. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the oven. Yep, there we go. In the middle rack. Whoosh. Now it's time to set it up. This is the fun part. <laughs> Okay, so pot pies are not gonna be the same for you anymore because once you have this recipe and you saw how we did this step-by-step step to kind of give you all the, all the ins and outs of what you need to do to make a nice, delicious pot pie. And again, I use my mother's, mi mamacita está en el cielito, 
you know, her stuffing, you know, and, and, and I just love it. And you're just gonna taste the love as well. And you know, I did double up the recipe. So I did make some extra gravy. So you can, once you serve this, you can add a little gravy or top it off with some of my lindita salsa. And of course I added a little fresh salad to kind of go with it. And you know, for all these recipes, I just want to say, you can go right to linditasalsa.com and get them in all our shows. And um, until then, our next show, I'm so thankful to be here to show this and showcase all our recipes. So, mis amigos, que pasen buen día. That means you have a wonderful day. And until next time, adios. Cheers. <laughs>